I'm Debbie Banducci and welcome back to my video blog. Today I'd like to share with you five ways that you can boost your credit score. So whether your credit score is heading in the right direction or it's veered off track, these five tips are going to help you take control and improve your credit score at the same time. Now please keep in mind that I'm not a tax accountant and I'm not a certified mortgage professional, okay? So here we go. Tip number one, just like your mommy and daddy always told you, pay your bills on time. An easy way to accomplish this is through automatic payments with your bank, or another idea is you can keep track of bill due dates on your phone's calendar, you've got Google has uh, calendar options, Outlook, there's many of them. I think even Yahoo has them. So keep an eye out for some of those items. Um, give me a call, I have, I have several that I use. So, Tip number two, keep your balances low. And as hard as it may be, you don't want to spend it unless you have it to pay the card off. So if you have large balances, uh, consider even paying off the credit card with the highest interest rate first. So that's, that's a real valuable one um, to keep in mind for sure. So tip number three, be careful when opening new accounts. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but opening new accounts or closing multiple accounts, believe it or not, uh, can cause a red flag on your credit report. So think twice before signing up for a new card. And also, sometimes we get in a hurry to just run out and start closing accounts. So you, you want to be careful um, and check with, um, you know, you can check with Experian, um, TransUnion, some of those places as well. So there's a lot of resources for that. You might even Google some tips. Tip number four, try to limit your rate of shopping for a mortgage or auto loan to a small window of time. So see, inquiries within a small window of time, for example, 30 days, are treated as a single inquiry. Otherwise, if you kind of spread it out and you're doing it like over and over and over, six months at a time, or you're signing up with multiple lenders and having everybody run your credit and you keep doing it over the course of a year or so, or um, larger windows than 30 days, it can really put a ding on your credit. So watch that one. Um, a lot of people don't know that one. That's a common uh, mistake. And finally, tip number five, always handle your credit responsibly. Look, it's going to take years to repair only what a few months can, of damage can do to your credit, and that, that is huge. So really be careful. And even if you have a little blemish or something happened, something didn't get there in time, you can even call back a lot of times the merchant or vendor, let's say it's a mortgage company, credit card, sometimes they'll take that into consideration if you've had a good history with them and they'll be really happy to, you know, maybe take that off or um, if it wasn't your fault or whatever. So, you know, check back with them. In the end, establishing a good credit history is important if you want to look and um, lock in these uh, historical rates, um, which you do. So please read the article below um, or for detailed information on these five steps, contact my office. If you have any questions about what you've heard today or you'd like to speak to someone in our office about purchasing a home or selling a home, I, I would love for you to give me a call. I'd be more than happy to help you with any real estate questions you have, so I invite you to also forward this to anyone you know who may be thinking of buying or selling a home as well. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.